Okay, getting ready. Okay, we're good. Well, welcome everybody. Another video tutorial with the DRA80 on this occasion. We're going to be talking about the driver installation. So that way your USB cable could recognize the DRA80 as MIDI. All right. Remember to hit like and share this video so other people could benefit out of it. So it could help them as well. So here we go. The problem is yesterday I was trying to hook the USB cable and it was not working at all. Why? Because my DAW was not recognizing the MIDI driver. Let me show you. Right here on the MIDI devices, it was not being recognized. And that's a problem because then I cannot use it as MIDI. If I hit the keys right now on the DRA80, if I hit the buttons, you can see that it's giving me right here. No problem, it's giving me the signal that I was receiving the MIDI. But then yesterday, ooh, that was something else. Full screen, window, always on top. Okay, here we are. My computer was not recognizing it on the devices, so this is what I had to do. I went over here, I went to the browser, to my browser. And I type DR880 Windows 10 problem. Okay. So it's going to take you to this window. And we're going to scroll down over here. Where it says www.soundonsound.com. Right here. Legacy driver hack for Windows 10. This is where you're going to click. Okay, it's going to give you a set of instructions that you need to follow, very precise. Now, be aware, be careful when you answer the phone, be careful when you answer text because you're going to get distracted. You need to focus on this. It's very important. So here it is. Now, this is the web, the web page you're looking for, and you're going to scroll down here. As you can see, This, it says right here, DR80, so that means that this hack is, is going to fix your problem that Windows is not recognizing um, your DR880 on the MIDI part because I didn't have any problems with the storage. Storage was working fine, but on my DAW, for some reason, it was not being recognized. So that's when I encountered this problem. This is what I did. First thing first, you need to contact Roland and you need to tell him, hey, um, I need the driver for the DRA80. I have Windows 10, so please send me the file. What they're going to do, they're going to answer. Be patient. It might take three days. It might take three weeks. So be patient, okay? They will answer. They will send you the link. That's what they did to me. I contacted them contacted them they sent me the link they wrote on the email please do not share this file with other dr880 owners it might damage their computer or it might damage their dr880 they won't take responsibility so that's why i cannot share this file with you i have the file right here let me show you right over here Right here. When you unzip the file, these are the distracted files. Okay. Going back to the website, this is what you need to do. When you extract the file that they're going to send you, okay, this code needs to be inserted right here, this code. Obviously, it's not going to be this, so do not copy and paste from the website. It's just giving you an example of what you need to do. All right, you need to find this. This file is an INF file on your 
on your folder where you extracted the DR80 zip right here. So it's going to look like this. You're going to go in here, and this is the file you need to edit. Okay. What I did, I just copy and paste it, and I save it as a notepad. Okay. So this right here is the code you need to insert. This over here. As you can see, it says DR80. And this code needs to be right here. You're going to replace this with the code. Right? I put the code right here. So I just copy, I just copy this file in case, right? In case that something happens so I could have the original file. I know, you know, what, what I need to do. Now, this is the file that you need to edit. I'm going to hit right click, open with, notepad, okay. Okay, right here it says open. Okay, so this is the original file. Be careful, like I said, don't get distracted. I'm going to scroll down and right over here. On my case, right, this is what, what it showed. Right here. This is the code that I copy it. Press control on your keyboard, control C. You get a copy and then you just place it right here. And control V, that will get pasted and it will replace the other code. When you close it, you just save it, so it's going to replace the original. Okay. It's ready to go. Now we got to do the other steps. This is good to go. Okay. Now, go back to the website. And these instructions here, you got to follow them. Save the file, INF file, overwrite them. That's what we just did. Okay, given the driver, given the driver have now effectively been tampered with, 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 Windows won't automatically allow them to be executed as a security precaution. Therefore, you will need to install them without driver signature enforcement. Okay, to do this, before going further, you might need to write these down as you will be restarting your PC and may not know and may not know what to click. What I did, I just took my cell phone and I took a picture. Okay. So that way I, I look, you know, I was checking the instruction on my phone. So it says here, click Windows Starts and type change advanced. Advanced Startup Options. So you go here, and you click, or you um, type. What I did, I skipped this, and I went right over here, and I typed Recovery Options right over here. So I typed Recovery. As you can see, it's right here. So let me go ahead so you can see what you're going to see. Recovery Options. Okay. You click it, and... Let me just move this window out of the way so we can see what we're reading. Hold on one second. Okay, recovery options. On the right where it says advanced startup, choose restart now. I'm not going to click it, but what's going to happen is going to restart my computer. So you're going to click restart now. Advanced startup, restart now. After that, I'm going to show you uh, a blue screen with a menu. Don't worry, it's not the blue screen of death. You're going to click on Troubleshoot, followed by, next you're going to click Advanced Settings, and then you're going to click Startup Settings, and you're going to restart your computer. Okay? Once you restarted your computer, the screen is going to come up, and you're going to please select the number 7. 
which is disable driver signature enforcement. When you do that, it's going to finish restarting. Okay? So when you finish restarting, then you go back into your folder where you extracted the modified um, driver and install the new modified drivers. Okay? And on screen prompt, follow the follow any on screen prompt and insert the Roland USB device driver when requested to complete the installation. Then it's gonna after that it's gonna restart automatically and you're done. You're good to go. Okay. So up to here we can't go further because it's just gonna restart my computer. So after you do all that, after you do the, the you select the number seven, which is um, installed without the driver signature. What you're going to do is you're going to um, go to your folder where you save the file, the unzip file. This is where you edited the file, the INF. You're going you're gonna to double click. So when you double click, is gonna um, ask you that it's gonna install the driver, blah blah blah, and then Windows is gonna give you a warning: this driver doesn't have any signature, blah blah blah. You're gonna hit OK. You're gonna hit Next, and it's gonna start installing the driver. Is on my on my case, the installation froze or it stopped. All I did was I went to the DR880, as you can see here, and I unplugged the USB cable because it's going to ask you to plug it. What I did, I plugged it, I unplugged it, and then I plug it back again. <laughs> and it stayed there. It just like froze or whatever. Okay, so I waited a little bit and it didn't do anything. I unplugged it again and I plugged it back again. When I plugged it back again, <laughs> it finished installation. I have to say, thank goodness, you know, it's good to go then. When it finished installation, the computer restarted again, and the process is done. Then you could go to your DAW, and you could verify the driver is going to automatically appear right over here. Right over here. <laughs> okay, it's right there. On the input, just enable it. Whatever DAW you're using, it just got to be enabled. And all over here on the output port, I don't select any port on the input. On the output port, I select number 10 so I can relate, okay, um, channel number 10. I can remember when I use it, it has to be on channel 10. The port and the channel are two different things. They don't have anything to do with each other. Now here, all I did was on the MIDI out, let me erase this, hold on a second, on the MIDI out, all I did was I used port number 10, channel number 10. So that way when I play back the MIDI that I record, it could be readable. What I meant is you could hear the sounds of the DR-880. And that basically is it. That's it, basically. Those are the sounds of the DR-880. Obviously, this is not the map. These names are, are not from the map of the DR-880. This is general MIDI. So that's why it has all these and these don't have any sound. Okay. Okay, so in order so it won't be heard double, just uncheck this. And there you go. So you can still record and then when you play it back, you need to disable this one, the MIDI remote input or the remote control, which is the input, and then you enable the output.
Hey, just to test it out, we go here, we go here, back to the piano roll, let me hit record. Okay, so there you go. Now, if I play it, there won't be any sound. Okay, no sound because I got to enable it. Disable the input, enable the output. And that's it. Okay. In case that you want, you know, to record something like that, you know, you program it yourself or whatnot. Okay. So that will be it for this video. Remember... When you are doing the steps to restart your computer, let's go back to the website, to the instruction. They're right here. Let's take a picture. Be careful here. You don't um, copy and paste this. Okay, this is for something else. But this is just telling you what to do, what line you need to copy and paste. Okay. One more time, you go all the way. Hold on. Let me open the file one more time. Remember INF, open with, notepad, okay, scroll down, and right over here. I believe that it was when I had Windows 7s, and I asked Roland for the file. Right now I have Windows 10, and with Windows 7s I didn't have a problem at all. I had a problem yesterday <laughs> with Windows 10. So I remember I had saved the file, so I just looked it up on, on my hard drive. I found it, and this is the code you just need to replace. Okay, very important. All right, so that will be it for this video thank you very much for watching it remember to hit the like button and i see you guys on the next video tutorial okay god bless